Hi, I'm Joe Cochran with NorthlineExpress.com. In this short video, we're going to install some DVL double wall stove pipe in an installation we have here. Now, just a few things about the DVL double wall pipe. It's uh, your single wall stove pipe requires 18 inches clearance to combustibles. And the big benefit with the double wall pipe is it reduces that clearance to eight inches to walls. So if you have uh, an installation where you can't quite get the clearance away from your wall, you can use the DVL pipe to actually uh, allow that installation to be properly installed and, and meet your clearances. DVL also must be used in any mobile home installation, so you want to keep that in mind. The interior pipe on DVL is a stainless steel pipe, so it's going to last a lot longer than your typical single wall steel pipe will. And then it's got a nice steel pipe on the outer liner that's painted black to give you that typical uh, good finish. And you can see here there's air space between, so this is an air insulated pipe is how it works. We've got an 18 inch section of DVL we'll be using. We've also got these two sections which are the uh, telescoping piece that will go from something like 42 inches or so up to 68 inches. We'll show you how to assemble and use that in the installation. We've also got our DVL uh, chimney adapter. This is going to adapt our double wall stove pipe to our chimney pipe at our round ceiling support. We'll show you how to install that. And then we've got a stove top adapter which you can see has this crimped end at the bottom and that's going to allow us to set this right in to the collar on our wood stove. So let's go ahead and get started and show you how this goes together. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start by installing the stove top adapter. And you know this is the stove top adapter again because it has this crimped section in the bottom. That's going to slide right into the collar on your wood stove. Now a lot of times the collars will have holes in them that it's going to allow you to screw the adapters into them. But in this case, because we're using the double wall, it's going to slide over. You won't be able to utilize those. And that's fine. Everything above it is going to help to lock this in place. There's a sticker on the back of the pipe which shows the direction of the flow. And it's on all of these sections of pipe so you don't get confused on which way to install them. And the last thing is to remember that the seam is always best to just face towards the back of the stove so you're not looking at that from the front or from the sides of the stove. So we'll go ahead and adjust that to point backwards and we'll just seat this right down in that opening. Give it some pressure to push down. You don't have to kill it on this, just give it some slight pressure. That's going to hold it in place and we're all set. Now when we're all done with this installation we'll go ahead and peel these stickers off and clean the pipe up but for now we'll go ahead and get all the pieces installed. Okay, the next piece we're going to install is the chimney adapter. And the chimney adapter consists of two components. It's got the round portion here that's going to connect to your DVL double wall pipe. And then it's got the actual adapter itself. So the adapter first slides in to our chimney top adapter. And this has a seam on it as well. So again, we'll just kind of want to position that to the back. And it's going to slide right up into our round ceiling support. Okay, just like that. And then it's going to secure to this with four of these self-tapping hex head screws. So we'll go ahead and screw that on right now. Okay, so we've got our chimney adapter installed and the next piece we're going to install is the 18 inch length. Now, I'm starting from the top down because I haven't um, confirmed that my stove is exactly in the right spot yet. So we're going to get this piece of pipe secured, we'll make sure it's nice and level, and then when we put our telescoping piece on, we'll be able to line up the stove and make sure that we've got a perfect alignment. Again, it's got a sticker on it which points the direction of the flow. So we know that it's going to go this way. Our crimped end is at the bottom. And all it's going to do is slide into our piece below. And again, that seam's going to go on the back. Now keep in mind, you can't have the seams line up identically. So they kind of have to crisscross as you go down the back of it. Go ahead and get that in. And it is pre-drilled so that the holes line up. And we'll go ahead and mount it with our screws.
Okay, so the final connection we need to make is from our stove top adapter up to our 18 inch section that we have coming down from our round ceiling support. And we're going to use one of these telescoping pieces to make that connection. I like the telescoping pieces because it just makes it so easy. You don't have to be so exacting in your measurements to use one of these. You can also use sometimes slip connectors will work for this as well. And anytime you're using the Dura Black or the DVL, you can't cut this pipe down. So you're going to need some sort of adjustable piece to make that connection. Now, the first thing we have to do is actually assemble the two sections of the telescoping piece. And you'll see that one of them has, once again, the flow noted on the bottom of it pointing up. That means that this is our bottom section. And the other section has the same end on it as, the, uh, as we showed in the beginning, but the bottom does not. And this is the part that's going to actually slide into the top piece. Now, it's pretty tough to assemble this and not scuff up or scratch the um, outside of one of the pieces of pipe. We're going to do our best to do that, but it's real common anytime you're installing any single wall or double wall black stove pipe at the end, to need to go ahead and touch it up with some black stove paint. So you might want to grab some of that uh, before you um, finish your installation. So we'll go ahead and get this slid in there. We're just going to kind of lightly work it down the bottom section until we've got it to where we can attach it. Now, the first portion we're going to attach is the bottom section to the stove top adapter. You can see again that just slides over the top. Work that down over the pipe. And again we've got those pre-drilled holes. Now I'm not going to attach it yet because again I want to check that it's level and I've got to check that we've got that top portion done. So the next step is going to be to slide this up and make that connection to our top section. I'm hoping that once I get that up there, this will kind of hold itself in place, and then I'll get on the ladder, I'll force this up there a little stronger, we'll get that port, uh, that portion screwed together first, then we'll come down, we'll attach it here, we'll make sure everything's level, and we'll put our final screws. Because it's telescoping, we're gonna need middle screws here too, and there's slots cut for that so we can drive those uh, screws through there. So we'll go ahead and jump up on the ladder and get this part connected. Okay, so we've got the pipe set into our stove top adapter. We've got one screw connecting the telescoping piece to our 18 inch section. And as you should be able to see, our pipe is a little crooked here. We've got our level and we're showing that we're just a little off. This is where not having all of this secure yet is gonna help you. Now I can shift the stove over a little bit to account for that. Might need to shift our stove board to get it centered and everything but that's part of the installation. So we'll go ahead and get this slid over. Check it again for level. Check it for level front to back also, which is good. And that looks much better. Now, it's going to tighten that seam up as soon as we put those last screws in there. So we're going to jump on the ladder. We'll tighten that up next. Then we'll come down. We'll double check it for level again. We'll put our screws into our middle section and our bottom section to tighten up the installation. Okay, so we're all set. Everything's installed. We've got our final screws attached. It's secure. It's level. Um, we did end up having to shift the stove over, so we're probably going to have to adjust our stove board. That becomes a little bit challenging now that everything's on top of it and secured. Usually takes a couple people and you're just going to have to ease it over and adjust it. But pretty easy to do. Our last step before we start firing this up is going to be to wipe the pipe down. You see how much I'm handling it? The grease from my fingers will make marks on the pipe. If that heats up and burns, those marks will stay permanent. So before we ever fire this stove up, while this is curing, we want to get some Windex and a towel and just wipe this all down, get it nice and cleaned up. We're also going to peel all those stickers off of the stovepipe, use that Windex, get all that glue off of there so it doesn't burn off and create marks that don't, don't come off of the pipe. 
The last thing I want to talk about is, you know, our telescoping piece. I mean, I was really careful with it, but it's almost inevitable that you're going to end up with light scuffs and scratches as you're going through with the drill. You might jump off of a screw and hit the side of the pipe and scuff it and, and uh, scuff the paint off of it. So when you're buying your single wall pipe or your double wall DVL like this, I highly recommend you grab a couple of pans, a uh, couple of cans of the black stove bright paint that we have and then repaint or touch up any areas that you have. It's hard to see on the film, but our round ceiling support was scuffed up too. We used a, a used model, so it was kind of scuffed up from before. So we're gonna repaint all of that just to make this look real nice before we start burning. Once we burn all that paint and everything will cure, this will all look nice and even and finished. And that's how you install your DVL double wall stovepipe. Thanks for watching.